Hey boys and girls, I'm just going to go over Tuesday's converting units of mass and weight so that you can make sure that um, your answers are correct. Had a lot of questions about it, so let's um, go over these together. All right, you started out with this slide and you had some questions to answer. Um, you read through the examples on the left hand side, which guided you through some customary um, conversions, and then on the right, you had three problems to do. The first one was about a whale at the aquarium weighed four tons. How many pounds was this? So we're converting from tons to pounds. So that's one step down. We're going from larger to smaller. So each ton has 2,000 pounds. So that's going to be four of those tons times the 2,000 pounds, and you would have gotten 8,000 pounds. Number two, you had nine kilograms, and you are converting it to milligrams. Now, in our chart, you are not. there is no equivalency of milligrams to kilograms. So you're going to have to do two steps here. And so this guides you through that two-step process. Each kilogram of your nine kilograms will have a thousand grams, and a gram has a thousand milligrams. So I'm going to take that 9 and I'm going to multiply it by the 1,000 times 1,000. The 1,000 times 1,000 is equal to 1 million or 10 to the 6th power. If you remember when we did multiplying by powers of 10, it really is a little bit easier. And so I'm going to say 9 times 10 to the 6th power. That's going to be a 9 with 6 zeros on it. And so I would have had 9,000 milligrams. All right, in the last one on this uh, guided through example, Nathan has 32 pounds of chocolate, and how many ounces of chocolate does he have? So we're converting from 32 pounds to ounces. So that is just one step down here. So I'm going to start out with the 32 pounds. I'm going to multiply it by 16, and I've already checked. Um, 32 times 16 is equal to 512 ounces. Okay, on to the worksheets questions. All right, we started out with Madison having 14 kilograms of pineapples and how many grams would that be? So I'm going from kilograms to grams. Now I can look at my chart and see that there are a thousand kilograms in a, I mean a thousand um, grams in a kilogram and so I'm going to say 14 kilograms times the 1,000 and equals 14,000. 14 with three zeros on the end. All right, number two, there are 19 kilograms of cookies at the state fair. How many milligrams is that going to be? All right, we are going from kilograms all the way down to milligrams. So this is going to be another one of those two step processes. So I'm going to say I've got 19. I'm going from the larger to smaller, so I'm multiplying. And I know that I'm going to have to say a thousand times a thousand to give me one million which is going to be 19 times a million which would be 19 with six zeros on the end that's a lot of milligrams all right the yellow car number three the yellow car chris bought at the auto show weighed two tons how many ounces does it weigh this is another one there is nothing in our equivalency chart that tells us how many ounces there are in a pound. But we do know that there are 2,000 pounds in a ton and there are 16 ounces in a pound. So we need to do those two steps to get what we're going to multiply by. All right, we have the two ton car and we're going to multiply it by the number of um, pounds in a ton, 2,000, times the number of ounces in each of those pounds, which is 16. Now 2,000 times 16 is equal to 32 with 1, 2, 3 zeros on this one, right? And so now I need to multiply 2 times 32,000. I know 2 times 32 is 64, and I'm going to annex my three zeros. So it's going to be 64,000 ounces. The truck driver has to transport 19 tons of milk before the storm. How many pounds of milk did he transfer? Okay, so we're ch changing 19 tons into um, 
pounds. So 19, larger to smaller, I'm going to multiply. There are 16 ounces in a, wait a minute, they're not 16 ounces. There are 2,000 pounds in a ton. I'm multiplying by 2,000. And so I know that 19 times 2 is 38. And then I'm going to annex my three zeros. It's 38,000 pounds. All right, on number five, Michelle has 2,000 pounds of cookies to sell at the Girl Scout booth. How many ounces is that? I'm going from pounds to ounces. I know there are 16 ounces in a pound, so that's going to be a 2,000 times the 16 ounces per pound. I know 2 times 16 is 32. And I'm going to annex my three zeros. Number six, Kimberly collected five tons of artwork for an art festival. How many pounds did she collect? Why well, I'm going from tons to pounds. I have five of that. There are 2,000 pounds in a ton. I multiply that 2,000. I know five times two is 10, and I annex three zeros. 10,000 pounds. Well, number seven, the bathtub weighed seven and a half kilograms. I know in the metric system, instead of writing that as a fraction, I'm going to write that as 7.5. How many grams did the bathtub weigh? Well, I know there are 1,000 grams in the kilogram, so I'm going to multiply it by 1,000. Okay, and if you recall, when we multiply by um, 1,000 or 100 or 10, we can shift our decimal point to the right. So we're getting 1,000 times bigger, so I'm going to move that over 1 two, three place value positions. I'm going to need to annex two zeros in for that. And so I'm going to get an answer of 7,500 of those um, grams. Okay, number eight, the coffee beans weighed 67 pounds. How many ounces did they weigh? Again, I'm going from pounds to ounces, so I'm going to multiply. There's 67 pounds. I know there's 16 ounces per pound, so I'm going to have to multiply 67 times 16. Okay, so this is a great chance to review the um, two-digit times two-digit multiplication with the standard algorithm. And you know we talked about using that turtle head. All right, so I know that 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 4 more is 40. All right, I'm going to come down and put 0, and I'm going to multiply for my tens place. 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 6 is 6. I'm going to add my two partial products, and I get 1,072. So there are 1,072 ounces and 67 pounds of coffee. I hope this helped you guys, and good luck on today's assignment. Bye.